Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Erdman of Nationwide Children's Hospital. Here's an animation of double balloon enteroscopy, or DBE. This illustrates how the scope moves and manipulates through the small intestine. Next, we'll take you inside a procedure so you can see exactly what I see during a DBE. The double balloon scope enters the intestinal tract through the stomach, which you can see here. This is the valve that separates stomach from small intestine. As the scope is first advanced, the balloon is inflated, followed by sliding the overtube down and also into the small intestine. By alternating insufflation or inflation of the balloon, of both the overtube and the scope, we're able to inch and advance the scope and the overtube down the small intestine. Here we see a sample of the bile secretions inside the small intestine, which are the detergent that helps us dissolve and digest our food. Once we've reached our furthest distance down the small intestine, a small mark is left in the wall of the, of the digestive tract, which then allows us to mark that spot. We examine the intestine going both ways, both in and out, allowing us to double check for possible lesions that we may not have appreciated on the way in. In addition to diagnostic looking, we're also to able to perform a variety of other procedures, including biopsy. Here, a biopsy forcep is used to take a sample of the lining of the small intestine. As you'll see in a moment, we can do other things as well. This is an example of therapeutic double balloon enteroscopy. The lesion you're about to see is a congenital vascular abnormality that can oftentimes be found in the small intestine, known as a hemangioma. This lesion was causing bleeding and anemia for this patient. Once identified, the polyp, or in this case, the hemangioma, is studied to see if it can be successfully pulled back or isolated from the wall of the small intestine. The goal, of course, is to make a clean uh, separation between the wall and the lesion and thereby prevent complications such as perforation at the time of lesion removal. Once the polyp is successfully secured, it's gently pulled back and away from the small intestinal wall. Electric current is then passed through the catheter wire. This then generates heat, cauterizing the polyp, preventing bleeding. Higher frequency current is then passed through it, the, the wire, which then literally cauterizes or vaporizes the tissue, cutting the polyp from the wall as seen here. This leaves a clean, sealed base where the polyp used to be. We'll then go back and retrieve that lesion for examination under the microscope, and then again, label this as our farthest point by leaving a small uh, permanent ink mark or tattoo at the wall of the small intestine. 